Honestly, it can be quite the challenge to catch up with Principal David Hudzik. You can check in his office here at Piggott Academy of International Studies, but it's empty. A lot. How's your day? That's because he says his best work is not done behind a desk, but out here, mingling with the children and the staff of the school. Whether he's opening a juice pouch for a student or just making sure they are all enjoying their lunch, he believes interaction is a key ingredient to educational success. I enjoy being out. Um, recess duty is, is a joy to me. Being in the classrooms, walking around the school, knowing my teachers, knowing my families, knowing my students. Um, you know, having that rapport, they know who I am. They know that um, I'm here for them and I care and I want them to learn, but I also will listen. His interactive approach is just one of many reasons. He was recently named one of the best elementary school principals in the country by the National Association of Elementary School Principals. I'm just honored with everything and humbled. Hudzik started with the Clark County School District more than 25 years ago. His rapport with students and staff got the attention of other local principals, and he was encouraged to become one himself. So I went back into um, to my master's and got my degree and then became an assistant principal at Cortez Elementary and then worked at the former Southwest Region office with school improvement and helping schools and then came here to Pigott in uh, January of 2009 and this has been the best part of my career. Uh, it's worked out quite well for the school too. After five years as principal here, he led the way to making Pigott a magnet school with an emphasis on the International Baccalaureate program. We met his magnet coordinator, Tara Albedris, by chance while trying to keep up with him during his rounds. And she's done such an awesome job recruiting so many children from across the city yes. to join us here at, at Pigott Academy. And yes. uh, the more the merrier. <laughs> On our way to visit a fifth grade class, we passed these murals lining both sides of a hallway created by the children in the Gifted and Talented program. And so each child did their, like, they worked with the gate teacher to do their character. And then our gate teacher traced those onto the wall and then the students actually painted them. Along with the paintings of the students are words, attributes they strive to possess. We want to be creative, we want to have empathy, we want to be risk takers and inquirers. They are attributes he lives by and demonstrates every day to his students and staff. You can see it in the classroom. Hi everybody. So this, these are my friends from the city of Las Vegas. You can see it in the lunchroom where cafeteria manager Sabrina Lorick candidly told us he's the real thing. He's truly a great guy, truly from the bottom of our hearts, wonderful person. You need only spend part of a school day with David Hudzik to see why he was chosen one of the best elementary school principals, one of 37 selected from states across the country. He was honored at the Las Vegas City Council meeting on December 1st by Ward 2 City Councilwoman Victoria Seaman. In October, the entire group of 37 was honored in Washington, D.C., with a ceremony, a certificate, and his favorite, an engraved brass school bell. He proudly keeps it displayed here in his office. You know, that office where you will rarely find him. One of the things I live by every day is I'm going to make a difference in someone's life every day. I may not know who it was, but just my hello, holding a door for someone, might have just been enough for that person. So as I, I walk around and I model that kindness to my children, I know that, um, I know that will carry on and for years beyond me.